Have you ever been asked if you're okay to accept that your child may not be able to walk normally? Hi there, it's Nisha from My Favorite Physio. In today's video, I'm jumping in with a word of encouragement and three reasons why here at My Favorite Physio, we don't believe in setting limitations on children with special needs because we believe there are ways and means to help them achieve their full potential. So here at My Favorite Physio, we see lots of babies and children with special needs and we never set limitations with parents. And so therefore I was deeply horrified to meet a parent who said to me that their therapist had said to them, are you okay with accepting that your child cannot walk with their foot down properly and instead their foot's twisted and on its toe? The parent obviously said, I will love my child whichever way she is because she is my child and rightly so. What I am surprised and shocked at is that as a therapist, we would not have even had that conversation. We don't believe that a child has to settle with walking with their foot all twisted and onto their toes because there's strategies and treatments that can help a child straighten that foot down and walk properly. So here at Micro Physio, we don't set limitations. What we do do is we set goals. So the reason why we actually are able to achieve amazing goals and outcomes for our children is the three strategies that we have. Number one, we set goals with families and we say, what do you like to see your child achieve in 12 months time? What would you like to see your child achieve in five years time? We will always work towards helping a child achieve their full potential because we understand that the brain is very pliable. Young babies and children, their brains have so much capacity to change and learn new skills and movement. So we set our targets on achieving the best potential and often that is to be able to walk without any aids. So the first thing we do is we use the right assessment tools for each child on each age group so we can be very specific about the goals that we're going to achieve. That way we're always on track to get there. Number two strategy we use is we determine a child's strengths and weaknesses and we have different treatment strategies to help overcome each of those weaknesses. So pediatric physiotherapy is not just running and having fun with games or lying on the mat and just having play-based therapy just for, you know, giggles and fun. Pediatric physiotherapy should be very strategic where we are very clear about what the barriers and obstacles a child has. So if a child has increased muscle tone, we can use a treatment strategy like radio shockwave therapy to reduce that high muscle tone. If a child has low muscle tone, we'll use a treatment strategy of dynamic garment orthosis to help give them support and build their core strength. If a child has, you know, stiff lower limbs, because of cerebral palsy and they don't have range, they're on their toes, their foot all twisted, we'll use serial casting. There are many things we would do. If a child is not able to walk without support, we'll strengthen them and train them to learn to walk each step using a you know, harness treadmill system. So for every problem, there's a solution we have and we will work on that. This is why we don't believe in limitations because with the right strategies, the right issues can be resolved easily. Number three, we expect progress. So we don't sit there and just have fun and giggles. We actually have our assessment tools. We know our problems. We know our strategies. Then we also know the outcomes we need and we measure that and we expect that. Day on day, week on week, we expect to see a child progress and improve. That's why we can help our children reach their full potential and we never talk about limitations that parents have to accept. We don't accept that is how it has to be. We believe that early intervention means we make a difference. So if you're out there and you're feeling, you know, stressed and upset and you've been told to accept your child's limitations, why don't you ring us here at My Favorite Physio, speak to one of our expert pediatric physiotherapists, Find out how we can help your child achieve their full potential. Do not settle for limitations because we won't. If 
you would like to speak to one of our expert pediatric physiotherapists, the number to ring is 0297904233. And if you know somebody out there in your world who's been just upset, feeling like they have to accept limitations for their child and their child's future, why don't you like and share this video with them? Until next time, have a great day. Bye.